Wow, so this is coarse prismatic silimonite from a very high temperature uh, metamorphic rock, a restite. Um, and what you see is there are these long laths, needles of silimonite that have um, the higher interference colors, the, the brighter interference colors. And then you see these um, polygons of uh, silimonite that have those, they're not quite square cross sections, uh, but they have gray interference colors. Now this is a close-up of those prisms um, that have the almost square rectangular cross sections. And this is thoroughly distinctive of silimonite. It has those um, angled cleavage planes um, and the uh, gray interference colors because you're looking down on the, um, the ends of, the, of these needles. This is the other typical uh, texture of silimonite that you see. This is called fibrolytic silimonite, um, and it has this kind of wispy, um, fuzzy appearance, uh, a little bit brown. Uh, across the polars, and you get these low interference colors. It can get up into sort of purple and pink, uh, but generally uh, low and, and that fuzzy characteristic uh, texture. And then here is an example of prismatic silimonite on one side and fibrolytic silimonite on the other side. So um, as it comes around and, and crosses the polar, the polars, the prismatic silimonite will be on the left um, with those uh, orange interference colors and the fibrolytic silimonite is, uh, well now it's vertical, <laughs> uh, and it's got that sort of fuzzy appearance. This is a really interesting rock. There's a clot of silimonite in the center of the field of view, um, moderate relief, moderate to high relief. Um, when you cross the polars, you'll see there are multiple crystals there, and the interference colors, those are about as high as I ever see uh, with silimonite. This is interesting because it's surrounded by a corona of cordierite, and then there's biotite around that. This might actually be silimonite that formed after andalusite. Now this absolutely is silimonite that formed after andalusite. There's one big crystal here, but when the polars are crossed, you'll see that it's broken up into little subgrains. Um, and there's almost a cross structure in there. Now you can really see the cross. The idea is that this was chiastolite andalusite, um, and the crystal structure is very similar to silimonite. So when it crossed into the silimonite stability field, a little bit of kinking of the andalusite structure turned it into silimonite. This image shows um, silimonite with two end member um, interference colors. There are the long skinny crystals and then there are the sort of diamond shaped crystals. The diamond shaped crystals you're looking down on the needles. So you cross the polars and you see that the, the highest interference color that you'll see for silimonite, that blue color, um, but looking down on the diamonds you see the, the gray and that's a special orientation that we'll look at in just the next video. Okay, so here we are looking down on those diamonds, and um, I'm going to cross the polars. I'm going to go to, and you can see that same interference, odd interference color. I'm going to go to higher magnification, and then I'm going to put in the substage condenser, and then I'm going to put in the Bertrand lens. So what you're looking at here is an acute bisectrix image. Um, and if we uh, put in the quarter wave plate, you'll see that it's blue in this orientation, and that means it's biaxial positive. Um, the fact that they're close together like this means it has a very low 2V 